Hello YouTube and welcome to another Windows Server 2019 tutorial. So in this video I will show you how to install Microsoft SQL Server 2019. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first thing first, let's open our browser and look for Microsoft SQL Server. Okay. Here we go. So we'll go actually to this link here to the Microsoft website. So here, as you can see, we can try SQL Server on-premises or in the cloud. So here we'll be choosing to install it on this server actually. So as you can see here you can download it SQL Server on Azure, so for the cloud, or at the edge, or on-premises, okay? And here there is uh, actually two free versions, the developer as you can see, which is full featured free edition but licenses for use as development and test databases, not in production. But we have also an express edition, which is also free and ideal for development and production for desktop. So let's choose this one express. So I will hit the download button. And of course, uh, it's not that big, it's only 6 megabytes. So we'll be installing this Express Edition. Okay, so let's open this file. So of course here I'm logging as an administrator, so I have all the rights to install any software. So this is actually the window for Express Edition. So we'll select the installation type. So we have a basic, custom, and download media. So let's go on just with the basic installation. So this is the license terms. So you have to read and accept it. So here we go. So this is the install install directory or location. So you can change it if you want, but I will go with the default. So now the packages are being downloaded and installed. So as you can see now the download is successful and now the install actually begins. So now as you can see the installation has completely completed successfully. So we have our instance name, we have uh, SQL administrator, okay, log folder. So the next step is actually to install a tool that will help us to manage SQL server. And for that you should install as you can see here, 
SQL Server Management Studio. Okay, so you can go actually, you can close this uh, window and you can go to your Chrome and download SQL Server Management Studio as you can see here. So you go to the Microsoft uh, page and you download the install packages actually from here okay so me I already done that so let's go to my download directory and try to actually execute the install so here we go so this is the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio so let's just keep the default location and install So now as you can see the setup has been completed so we can just close this window and go to start menu in order to open our actually Microsoft SQL Server management tool so as you can see here I can run it from here or I can just uh, go to Microsoft SQL Server Tools and choose Microsoft Server Management Studio okay so this is the connection window so you can use Windows authentication or if you are running for example in standalone installation you can just use uh, SQL, SQL Server authentication so here I'm logging into the domain so I will keep here just the default one and here we go so you can see now the console for Microsoft SQL Server so there are a bunch of folders as you can see here on the left so we have of course the system databases so we have the master the model the msdb and dump db and here the snapshots we have security folder for login server logs credential audits okay and also we have a couple of uh, server objects okay and of course you can right click on this instance here and disconnect from it or run a query or run activity monitor you can also stop pause restart the service from here or open a powershell uh, command okay and if we go to the properties you get here the general info about your SQL server so which version, which platform, and also the, the amount of memory, okay, and so on. And of course here you can choose your system databases. So to see the table it contains. So you can run queries for the table. So for example, I can just right click and select the top 1000 records but in the next video we'll create our own database and run query into it so that was just a brief introduction how to install Microsoft SQL Server and also the Microsoft 
SQL Server Management Studio in order to manage it. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.